Hey what's up creators today, we're going to be showing you how we can stylize our shooter games heads up display. We're going to be taking our heads up display from this to this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Unreal Engine 5, import some custom graphics and get our heads up display looking good. So the very first thing that we need to do inside of Unreal Engine is we need to import the UI kit that I've put together that's included in the resources available to download on our website. What I want you to do is find these on your computer, go to your FPS assets folder, inside of here we're going to create a brand new file with the name UI assets. With that done, open up this folder. What we're going to do in here is simply take all of our assets and drag and drop them into the content browser to import these. This is going to give us the images for our health bars, our icons, our reload, our weapon, absolutely everything is included in this. Once we've done that, what we can do is we can go to our content, FPS assets, first person BP and blueprints and open up that widget blueprint for our HUD from before. And we can start putting these images in here because right now it doesn't look great. The very first thing we're going to be putting into this is going to be the background for these two bars here and the icon. So what I'm going to do to bring this in is I'm going to go to my palette in the top left hand corner. I'm going to search for an image and I'm going to drag it in. And I'm going to place this behind the bars. What you will need to do is set your Z order to this to be minus one so it always renders at the back. And then for the appearance and brush on the right hand side, we are going to go into that newly created UI assets folder and use left underscore BG. We're then going to place this in and I'm going to place it so it fits in just like that. Now, what we also need to do is bring in our health icon and our stamina icon. We could add an image like we did just there, or we can just grab the texture in the content browser here because I've got this window separate. And with that, I can just drag and drop it in. And then I can place it into the scene until it looks correct. And I can do that for both the stamina icon and the health icon. And what we're going to do is just place it in just like that. With these new elements, we do need to make sure we anchor these to the bottom left hand corner. So do that with the background, the icons, and then press compile, press play. And now if I press F11, you can see we've got our background there and it's looking a lot closer to the reference. With that being done, we're now going to take a look at stylizing the content on the right hand side. So again, what we need to do is get an image and we're going to render this at the back for the background. In our folder for our UI assets, we can take right underscore BG and place that in. And again, all we're doing is just scaling this up so it wraps around all of my content. Then what I'm going to do is with this, just to make sure I've got the same size, I'm just going to take the size Y on the left one and go to my size Y on the right one in the details on the right hand side there and paste it in. And now these should be the same. So size Y and then size Y over here. These should now be the same height. Once I've done that, I can then bring my weapon icon in. If you already have an image for it, like we created in the last video, we select that image and go to brush appearance and then pop it in there just like that. And then again, all I want you to do is just place this in just like we did with the reference. Feel free to flick between the reference and this image to get the alignment of everything correct. It's just going to be one of those processes where we're just going backwards and forwards until we get it right, until we're getting it looking like the reference here. So I'm just putting this directly underneath my text here and again, just make sure that scales correctly and I'm just going to place it there. Once I've done that, I can then move on to the next pieces, which is these two icons here. All I'm going to do is take my reload icon and I'm also going to take my ammo icon and then just try and roughly scale them and place them in over here just like that. 
you can always spend lots of time trying to align these and get them to look good. So I'm just adjusting those until we have that there. If you can't get it into place correctly, you may need to turn off your snapping at the top here, and then you have complete control over the placement of this. We need to add some reload text here, so I'm just gonna add another piece of text in, drag and drop, and this time I'm turning that font size all the way down to something like eight, that's nice and small, and I'm going to set the text to be reload, and I'm gonna set the typeface to light, so it's nice and thin. So with any of this text here, if you need to resize it, all you need to do is select the text, change the size, and change the typeface if you wanna make that a little bit thinner. And what you should end up with is something that's starting to look like this. Again, all of our new elements, we need to select those, anchor them to the bottom right, and I'm just gonna go through and do that for each of these here. And if I've done that correctly and press save and play, when I press F11 there, you can see our heads up display is really starting to come together. You're probably gonna to need to spend a little bit more time getting this to, to look and feel as it should, but we're definitely somewhere close to what we're after. So now we have our heads up display and we've got a lot of these graphical elements in here. The very next thing that we're gonna be doing is showing you how we can stylize those progress bars so our health bar and our stamina bar look correct and they look good with the right colors. Again, let's go ahead and hop into Unreal Engine and do this. So again, inside of our FBS HUD here, what we're gonna be doing is finding our progress bars and under our style, and our background image and fill image here on the right hand side, we're gonna be changing these for the images which came with this. To do this, we are gonna to go to our UI assets folder. With the background image for both of these, we're gonna be using bar underscore empty. So select that in the content browser, select the bar and then under style and background image, press the button that says use selected asset from content browser. Make sure this is set to draw as an image. And then with this, you can see we've now got the correct background image. Do the same thing for the background for our stamina bar. Press use selected asset from content browser, and then draw as an image. Now let's go ahead and tell the engine how this should look when it's filled up. We select the fill image in the content browser. We select the bar in the UI widget here and our fill image, we just set that to our thing. And then we set the image to that. And now when it fills up, it's going to have this image. We also need to go down to our fill color and opacity and make sure all of these are set to one. Now, if I go ahead and press compile and press play, you can see my health bar looks exactly like it should. It's got the red. And if I wanted to, I can open up my first person character and I can test this by taking my health. I'm gonna set it to 75, press compile, and then press play. And then with this, you can see it's filling up exactly as it should. So let's go ahead and do exactly the same for our stamina bar. All we're doing is going to our UI assets, go to stamina underscore fill, go to our fill image with the bar selected and press use selected asset from content browser. Draw that as an image, press compile, make sure that your fill color and opacity is set to one, 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 and one. Press compile, press play. And now if we press F11 to go full screen on our preview, we can see our heads up display is looking really, really good. What we have here now is the foundation for our shooter game. With that being said, we can see that we've got our weapon, we've got our heads up display, and when we start adding in functionality for things like reloading, bullet counting, or taking damage from enemies, we're gonna see our heads up display dynamically updating every single frame, and we can see those values go up and down. This is the foundation, this is perfect. With that being said, this is the end of this video. 
If you need any help, be sure to go ahead and join our Discord server with thousands of like-minded developers just like yourselves. Also, if you want to support more high-quality training just like this, be sure to check out our Patreon page and unlock exclusive perks such as early access to our videos, live mentoring, and easy to use game templates with ready-made code just like this. You can check out our Patreon. That's it for this video, jump into the next one, but for now, as always, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus, signing out.